You've heard this a thousand times, okay? There it goes. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Instant relief, right? Hear that? What if that familiar fizz wasn't just chemistry in a glass, but a mirror of what's happening inside your own body every second of your life? And just so you know, I'm using the plain Alka-Seltzer here because that's the one without aspirin because what I'm about to show you isn't about pain relief or medication. It's about pure chemistry of what's really happening with this tablet in this water. This tiny tablet does a lot more than just calm your stomach. The same chemistry happening right here in that fizzing glass that you see right here. It's happening within your cells right now. And it has to do with everything you do with your energy, your digestion, and even how your brain feels. So let's break it down because once you understand what's going on here, you'll never look at that fizz the same way ever again. When those tablets hit the water, they start releasing carbon dioxide gas. That fizzing reaction is a combination of citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, which instantly neutralizes one another and creates millions of microscopic bubbles, particularly inside your body. Something remarkably similar happens every time your cells burn fuel. Your metabolism produces carbon dioxide as a natural byproduct and your lungs and bloodstream have to constantly balance that reaction to keep your pH level stable. But here's where it gets even more interesting. That simple bubbling isn't just a chemical trick. It's a snapshot of how your entire body stays alive. When you drink an effervescent solution like this, like I showed you, that bicarbonate can temporarily buffer stomach acid, soothing indigestion or heartburn. That's the classic relief people feel. But underneath that, it's also subtly influencing your body's acid balance, diaphragm function, and even your vagus nerve activity the nerve that links your gut, heart, and brain. Think of this fizz like a mini chemical symphony. As those bubbles rise and release, your stomach feels a mild expansion. That expansion pushes gently upward on your diaphragm, stimulating the vagal branches that run through it. And that subtle pressure tells your body you're safe. Your heart rate slows, your breathing deepens, and a wave of calm moves through your system all from a few rising bubbles. That's one of the fastest ways to shift your body from stress mode into relaxation. So when people say, I feel better right after I drink it, it's not just neutralizing acid, it's triggering your parasympathetic nervous system, lowering your heart rate and restoring calm through physiology. Now let's connect this to something deeper. Inside your bloodstream, your body runs a constant balancing act between acid and base. Too much acid, your enzymes stop working efficiently. Too much alkalinity, the oxygen delivery falters. The bicarbonate buffering system, the very same one fizzing here in this glass, is what keeps you alive every second of your day. Your kidneys, lungs, and blood all depend on that reaction to maintain homeostasis. So when people talk about alkalizing the body. This is what they're really referring to, not magic, but simple, elegant chemistry that sustains life. Now imagine, your bloodstream has a carbonation system. Every exhale <sighs> releases carbon dioxide, just like the bubbles leaving the glass. If you hold your breath too long, carbon dioxide builds up and your blood becomes more acidic. If you hyperventilate, you blow off too much carbon dioxide and you become too alkaline. Either extreme throws your system out of sync and your brain immediately feels it. You get dizziness, anxiety, even tingling in your fingers. So when you sip something fizzy like this, you're not just swallowing bubbles, you're tapping into the same chemical rhythm that your body relies on to survive. Let's bring it back to digestion and relief now. Those bubbles don't just neutralize acid. They help disperse gas, it stimulates stomach motility, and even trigger salivation. All reflexes tied to improve vagal tone. And that's why some people feel more awake or relaxed 
right after drinking it. It's not a placebo, it's physiology. And here's where it gets fascinating. That feeling of instant relief, the association between fizz and comfort, becomes neurologically conditioned. Your brain remembers the sound, the bubbles, and the sensation of calm. Just like Pablo's dog salivated at the sound of a bell, your brain starts linking the fizzing sound with comfort, turning chemistry into emotion. So yes, the plop plop fizz fizz is doing more than you think. It's chemistry, it's neurology and psychology all in one glass. Now before you go dropping tablets daily, remember this. Frequent use of antacids can reduce stomach acid too much which can interfere with digestion and nutrient absorption. Your stomach acid isn't the enemy. It's essential for breaking down proteins, absorbing minerals, and killing harmful bacteria. So use it occasionally, not habitually. If you really want to harness the same relaxation chemistry naturally, try deep diaphragmatic breathing. Every slow breath and expand your belly like these bubbles rising in the glass. That expansion massages your vagus nerve and rebalances your carbon dioxide levels exactly the same way. You don't need a tablet. You already have the mechanism built right into your body. So the next time you hear that sound, plop, plop, fizz, fizz, remember what's really happening. The release of carbon dioxide, the calming of the vagus nerve, the balancing of pH, and the beautiful chemistry of your body working in harmony. You're not just watching a tablet dissolve. You're watching life itself. The rise and release that happens in every cell, every breath, every heartbeat that keeps you alive. I hope you enjoyed this video and please, Pass it on to your loved ones, your friends. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.